Today, the popularity of watching videos is increasing the amount of video traffic in the network, resulting in an explosive growth in the volume of data. In video streaming services, users and content streaming providers have conflicting needs. Reduce traffic-related costs for the content streaming provider while maintaining video quality for the user. To meet these opposing needs, NTT has developed a video quality control technology called QOE Control Technology. It controls the balance between video quality and traffic-related costs based on the relationship between the bitrate and QOE, while trying to bring the QOE close to a predefined target value. In an ordinary video streaming service, the user's video player sends a request to the provider's server specifying the desired video and bitrate, and plays the received data. If the user specifies a high bitrate, the video quality may be high, but the QOE may degrade because the probability of video rebuffering increases. It has been confirmed in a field trial by NTT that people often do not perceive any QOE enhancement when the video bitrate is raised beyond a certain level. For this reason, in the new technology, the video player sends an inquiry to the QOE control engine about the recommended bitrate and then receives video data accordingly at a bitrate that is optimal under the current environment. When the QOE control engine receives an inquiry, it calculates the user's past QOE from information about the bitrate selected for past videos and rebuffering time. Based on the network quality information, such as past throughput, stored in the quality database, it predicts the future network quality in the user's communication environment. The engine instantaneously carries out optimization up to a predefined later time point and calculates the optimal bitrate for the next video reception using the predefined QOE target value. By repeating this procedure, the engine can select the optimal bitrate and the user can view the video at the predefined target or higher QOE. For example, if the user raises the QOE target value, the QOE that can be achieved is better than that attainable using conventional technology because the bitrate is higher and the rebuffering time is shorter. If the user, conscious of cost, sets a low QOE target value, an excessive bitrate is avoided and rebuffering time is reduced making it possible to reduce traffic-related costs while maintaining QOE. Use of QOE as a control indicator enables the user to intuitively set the quality close to the level the user will perceive, thereby reducing the load on the network dramatically. The QOE control technology is designed for video streaming services, Going forward, we will implement this technology in various terminals, such as smartphones and other mobile terminals, PC browsers, and embedded devices. This will help enhance the user viewing experience in video streaming services and reduce traffic-related costs.